Hello everyone, Joshua Myers here, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Sixth Sense from 1999. We experience the world through our five senses. On August 6th, he will sense more. I see dead people. The Sixth Sense, rated PG-13, starts Friday, August 6th. The Sixth Sense stars Bruce Willis, Haley Joel Osment, Tori Collette, Donnie Wahlberg, and is directed by... M. Night Shyamalan. The plot of The Sixth Sense is that it's about a boy who is visited by ghosts with unresolved problems. With the help of a child psychologist, they try to uncover the ominous truth, which results in consequences both harrowing and unexplainable. Where are my positives with The Sixth Sense? Honestly, for me, I will give the film credit. It is shot nicely. I do like the cinematography. Uh, the score is actually not bad, actually. It's just, it, you know, like... The score's not bad, actually, and the acting ranges from okay, for the most part. Uh, I will say, um, I do really like the last act and everything. I really do genuinely like it. And that's it for my positives. What are my negatives with this film? Honestly, for me, the biggest problem is, for a lot of the movie, like, I honestly would say about half half of the movie, it's just nothing but, it's, it's nothing but full of expositional dialogue. Basically telling you, trying to tell you what's going on. You know, it's almost like as if, you know, M. Night Shyamalan or whoever the fuck is writing this, you know, felt like the audience wouldn't get a clue or anything and just kind of, he tried to spoon feed you all this information without you actually trying to figure it out for yourself. And I don't like that. That's almost like to me. I don't like expo. Well, some exposition could be needed, but the fact that you know most of this movie is nothing but expositional dialogue, and knowing that it feels forced, it kind of makes it seem like you're kind of like kind of it's like kind of assume that the audience is stupid. You know, like you're kind of demeaning their intelligence. And knowing that, a lot of people were saying this is one of the scariest films of all time, which, by the way, it was my first time watching this movie, for, like, at all. And I've seen scarier. I've even seen scarier films that came out around the 90s, actually. So, yeah, I wouldn't even say it's scary at all. In fact, I remember one point my mother actually said that this film scared her so bad, especially with the ghosts and that, like, the ghosts were so scary, and I saw this movie, I'm like, really, these were the ghosts you were afraid of? Because they don't look scary to me, and I've seen scarier ghosts, mind you. <laughs> and, yeah, like, knowing that this film is also, has quite a few jump scares in it, and knowing that, I will admit, the twist of this movie was ruined for me by the internet. And also by pop culture, too. So, I already knew... Well, spoiler words. If you don't want to be spoiled, skip to this time code. I already knew the whole thing about Bruce Willis's character uh, being a ghost the whole time. I already knew about that because the internet ruined it for me. Pop culture ruined it for me. Uh, so... I was able to pick, but at least I will admit the cool thing is that I I was able to pick up on all that stuff, you know, watching this movie. Like, although there's some stuff that's confusion for that. Like, for example, uh, like, if he was really a ghost the whole time, then how come he was able, like, sitting down, talking to Haley Joel Osment's mother... And them kind of communicating back and forth. Like. And apparently she could clearly see him. If he was a ghost the whole time, how the fuck was that able to happen? Answer that one, M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> and. <sighs> now I will admit, the twist is good. But I just felt like it was tacked on. Or, I don't know. Maybe they could have done some different stuff to... Not, like, like, not, like, to where the twist makes sense and everything, and 
Because that one scene I mentioned kind of fucks that twist up, actually. Another, another thing I don't like is that the pacing of this movie. Oh, it's one of the slowest paced movies I've ever seen. Like, seriously. Like, before recording this, you want to know how long it took me to finish watching this freaking movie? Took me to watch this fucking movie? So, let's see. I started on one day watching it. And, you know, like about 52 minutes in, I stopped. Then, I took a lot of days off from watching it, actually. In fact, I started watching it in October. It was originally, this review was originally meant to be for my 31 Days of October review series for this year. But, I was so bored and so, like, uh, with this movie, I needed a break from it. In fact, I was kind of really hesitant to watch it again. Like, at least to try to finish watching it. But I did. And I'm glad I'm done with it. <coughs> and not only was this my first time watching this movie, this was my first time watching a movie by M. Night Shyamalan. And... Oh boy. Also, I didn't really care for Haley Joe Osment in this movie at all. He just got on my nerves, like seriously. I just wanted to one of those ghosts to fucking kill him or something, because you know. Now I'll get I don't blame him. Cause especially he was a kid, so I'll give him at least a little bit of slack, you know? And knowing that, again, like, the ending of this movie has become so ingrained in pop culture and on the internet to now to the point where if you've never seen this movie, you know exactly what's going to happen. So I'm not even sure if, if it was all predictable in that, of what's going to happen. I don't, because I already knew what was going to happen. And that's because of the internet and pop culture and all that stuff. And knowing that... For me, uh, another thing I didn't like, well, I did say the music here was okay. I think it was okay, like, it was serviceable. The music to me came off as really generic. Like, seriously, you could replace the music of this film with any other horror music. Like, any other modern day horror music, and it would just not matter. So with that said, I'm going to give The Sixth Sense a 2 out of 5 stars. Now, it's not completely horrible. I've seen a lot worse movies, and there's some completely made stuff in this. I will give credit. But, there's uh, so many issues with this movie that I had, and I'm like, seriously, you guys consider this, like, one of the scariest films ever made? So that's it for this review. Thank you guys for watching, and... I see dead people.